In today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to improve the sound of speech. What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video production, whether it be video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you're interested in any of that. But today, I'm basically just going to be showing you how to drastically improve the sound of speech, the sound of vocals, and uh, it's really simple and it's all through a very simple, easy plugin called the Pro Audio Assets. I'm gonna leave that link below. Before I get into any explanations, let me just let the actual plugin speak for its, uh, itself. I got four examples taken from my Comica uh, microphone review where basically it's just me talking in a bunch of different environments through different microphones and audio sources and it's got one clip where it's the original and then it proceeds to play the same exact audio clip but with the plugin showing you how much improvement this plugin has done to the vocals. So it's a short one minute sequence. I'm just going to play this sequence right now for you guys and essentially, uh, you know, I'm just going to let it play out and you just basically listen very carefully to this and, uh, you know, I assure you, you will be noticing the difference right away, but I just want to put this out there, show you guys um, or let you hear the plugin for itself so you can actually see the power of it first off and then I'll explain all the other details after I show you this one minute sequence. Let's go. Audio test number one. We're currently using the straight up raw audio from my Sony A6300 camera. Audio test number one. We're currently using the straight up raw audio from my Sony A6300 camera. This is audio test number two. We are currently using the Comica CVM V30 video microphone. This is audio test number two. We are currently using the Comica CVM V30 video microphone. Audio test number three. We are now using the Rode video mic. Audio test number three. We are now using the Rode video mic. All right, so now I'm just on the street testing out the kind of raw audio quality that you'd be experiencing. All right, so now I'm just on the street testing out the kind of raw audio quality that you'd be experiencing. So right away after I played that sequence, if you listen to it there, uh, you know, sorry if you got bored for a split second, I wasn't talking, I just wanted to just let the actual plugin speak for itself, let the product speak for itself um, before I do all the explanation because I have a habit of talking a bunch, uh, you know, before getting to the juicy content where I definitely didn't want to do that today. So I've showed it all to you right there. Now it's time to show you how to actually go about replicating that effect, right? So for example, um, all you simply would have to do is, uh, let, let me just go ahead and get one of these clips which did not have the actual um, thingamajig on. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one over here. Oops, uh, let me just delete that. Bring it over here. So here is a completely clean uh, audio clip where it's got none of the plugins on. Audio right? test number three. We are now using the Rode Video Mic. Simple, so it's an audio test. If we were loading this plugin up, essentially what we would have done is we would have gone to our presets, we would have imported the plugin itself. So for, for me, I think I had it over here in my editing drive, um, Pro Audio presets plugin, boom. So I would have actually imported it right here, clicked it, and essentially it will bring it all in. Now I'm just gonna undo that because I've already imported it. It will import it right down here into our presets and it will create a few different folders. It will create the EOS HD audio bricks, the primers speakers, the primers headphones, and the primers colors. So of course, even though I got my headphones on right now, if I'm uh, optimizing this audio clip right here for speakers, which is what I usually do, I would simply go to speakers, click the drop down menu, go ahead and grab the vocal focus and drag it onto the clip. Now, that's not the end of it, of course. What I would then proceed to do as well is actually go ahead and right click, yes, right click onto the FX, go to the mastering and actually just go ahead and tick exciter amount. Now, that means when we next right click on this, we can edit current effects. And when we do that, we are greeted with this mastering plugin. And what we can do to massively increase the uh, actual quality of the audio is just to take this exciter amount and just bring it down to 0%. So it will only be on about 4 or 6%. Bring it down just to 0%. That's the first thing you want to do after bringing on the vocal. Audio focus. test number three. We are now using the Rode Video Mic. And as you can see right there, that's already sounding really crisp, really nice, but 
it's just a start. We can go even further, in fact. We can go over here to effects up here, and then we can actually be greeted by this new place called Essential Sound. So of course you guys are familiar with Essential Graphics, but we've also got Essential Sound, and that's a whole new place that it essentially gives us. And we can click on the dialogue area and take a preset, for example, if we're feeling a little bit lazy. But of course, if we're not feeling lazy, we could go ahead and customize all these dials. However, it's a little bit of a, you know, um, how, how do you say, experimentation probably going into all this stuff, a little bit of uh, easing it one way, bringing it down the other way, trying to, trying to really listen out to the difference that's being made. Overall, it's cool to do that, but right away, I prefer to just use a preset and just go ahead and take in, for example, a male balanced voice or uh, if you're a female, a balanced female voice, or if you're trying to go for a podcast vibe, which is a more kind of rich condenser microphone, get the podcast voice. Um, and essentially, the one I'm gonna go for is just a balanced male voice. Now when I give this a play. Audio test number three. We are now using the Rode Video Mic. So as you can see right there, it is sounding extremely crisp and extremely high quality, and this is just done on a shotgun mic, but it's starting to sound a bit like a condenser. In fact, I'm gonna duplicate that clip right there. Just go ahead, go, go over to my effect controls, right? And actually just go ahead and delete all the presets that I've, that I've added, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them all. Boom, deleted them all. Go ahead here and uh, clear audio type and um, boom. Essentially this right here is serving as a, uh, as a blank, a blank uh, audio clip. So now I'm just gonna play that and then it will proceed to play the effects version and you'll notice the massive Audio difference. test number three. We are now using the Rode Video Mic. Audio test number three. We are now using the Rode Video Mic. So as you can see right there, in fact, I'm even gonna bring over my, uh, my watermarks right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the original on the front and the with plug-in on the back and give this one more play. Listen carefully. Audio test number three. We are now using the Rode Video mic. Audio test number three. We are now using the Rode video mic. Of course, so the most obvious increase is the increase in volume. Now, the increase in volume is 100% not the only thing that is done. It's maybe the most, uh, you know, easily pick upable thing. If that's a word, pick up a bull. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, I butcher the English language sometimes, but uh, that's the easily pick up a bull thing. But there's loads of actual, um, you know, analysis that's gone into this here. And in fact, uh, if it has increased the volume too much, you're always able just to go ahead and level it back down a little bit by bringing the volume down a little bit like that. But overall, guys, that right there is how to dramatically increase the um, vocal presence, the kind of richness of the audio overall, you know, especially on these earlier examples right here, especially with the camera, I'm just gonna give this one a play right here. It, 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 it takes like a really quiet, really faint audio and turns it into a much richer, much more powerful audio and a much more strong sounding, um, kind of analog warm, digital, uh, not digital, but analog warm sound the whole time. I'll, I'll give this original one a play. Audio test number one. We're currently using the straight up raw audio from my Sony A6300 camera. Audio test number one. We're currently using the straight up raw audio from my Sony A6300 camera. Absolutely amazing. So obviously right there you can notice that we've massively increased the, uh, the actual audio itself, the actual vocals themselves. However, uh, I'm recording this on a camera mic in this example in a really boomy office, right? So of course you can hear some boom there a little bit of echo almost. So a way you can remove that is <laughs> amazing that this uh, plugin actually comes with this stuff as well is the fact that they've got tame room boominess, tame harshness, which are all drag and droppable plugins where you would simply just drag that onto here, give it another play. Audio test number one. We're currently using the straight up raw audio. And in fact, we could even go a step further and go to the audio bricks down here and add on a less boom, and for example, a less harsh as well. Audio test number one. We're currently using this. And uh, these are all stackable, so essentially you could just keep stacking them until you reach your perfect combination of audio, and uh, overall you've reached kind of like a, a perfect mastered track, and you're very happy with the way it sounds. But overall, guys, this has been my review of the Pro Audio Assets and uh, essentially I'll leave a link down below. Now, uh, it's an affiliate link, so if you sign up, I'll get $1. Uh, it's 
ten dollars in total I think now I, I would not promote anything here that you know I don't stand by just for context since they sent me this plugin like a few weeks ago to, to kind of test out and stuff like that I've used it in literally every single one of my videos for this for for the vocal enhancement um, so that speaks volumes to be honest like like honestly um, <laughs> like that does that speaks volumes I, like I'm not lying I've literally used it in every single video so I stand by it I'm gonna probably be consistently promoting this um, you know this is a new type of video right here where I'm showing you how to increase the um, uh, or uh, improve your vocals I also made another video which I'll link below in the description which was just general um, how to make things just sound better and explored again uh, I think five different uh, examples in that one in that video where we improved a bunch of different audio we removed the background noise when I was standing on the street we were able to completely wipe the sound of a car going past um, out which is amazing and overall um, Basically, the point of that right there, that little spiel, is just to show you that I genuinely stand by this uh, this this plugin. I've been using it all the time, and overall, um, you know, if you do buy it personally, I think it's worth it, and I will get one dollar. So we're all on the same table. All the info's out there. <laughs> Nothing shady going on. Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff for more upcoming video production themed videos. And have a great day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.